Hey folks, welcome to another edition of the Heritage Wealth Planning YouTube channel. I'm going to go uh, continue on my Quora answering discussions here. I got my mic, I got my camera, and I got the light show shining on me. So I figured I'm just going to go through a little list and uh, share with you some of the answers I provided to folks on Quora.com because I think, hey, it's interesting to me. If it's interesting to me, it may be of interest to you as well. One of my pet peeves of all time, of all time, other than Eli Manning beating the Patriots twice in the Super Bowl with just bad, bad defensive uh, play. Anyway, is when people compare financial advice to investment advice. And let me give an example. This guy writes in on Quora, how does Vanguard compare to Ameriprise for financial advice? How does Vanguard compare to Ameriprise for financial advice? And you start looking now the the answer to the question and it, man, it's all about Vanguard's investments versus Ameriprise's investments. It's, it's all about that. And this guy talks about S and P five hundred. Just <sighs> investment advice is not financial advice. Investment advice is investment advice. Financial advice, if all you're being advised on is investments, you are not receiving financial advice. And I actually said that in one of my answers here, and you can see the answer. Uh, down here that I, that I wrote right here. Um, and I had actually a guy kind of getting on me. Guys like, I don't know what your issue is, but blah, blah, blah. I said, dude, we're talking investment advice. That's what you're talking about because you keep referring back to low expense ratios and blah, blah, blah. The question was about financial advice. Financial advice is all encompassing. It covers everything from taxes, retirement planning. It covers investments. It covers social security. It covers mortgages. It covers estate planning. Financial advice is everything that's financial related of which investment advice is part of that. So if someone just says you need some financial advice and they start spouting off about, you know, indexing versus active management or expense ratios of mutual funds, my friends, that's not investment advice. That, I mean, that's not financial advice. That's investment advice. And right here, you would say, how does Vanguard compare to Ameriprise for investment advice? If I'm talking, and, and the industry has done this to itself actually by allowing each and every person out there who has a Series Seven or even a CFP nowadays to hold themselves as financial advisors. Insurance guys are considered financial advisors. I mean, I about ten years ago I was talking to a mortgage lady and she called herself a financial planner, but did not know if she should do a refinance from on a fixed rate loan to a very I just the whole. I was like, this is crazy. You can't be financial planner if you don't know some of the basics of financial planning. Um, now, she might know mortgages and that's fine, but just call yourself what you are, a mortgage guy. If you're an investment guy, that's fine. If you're a financial planner, that's what I am. That's fine. Now, with that said, financial planners should not be calling themselves investment advisors unless they're doing that on a regular basis because I don't do that. I mean, I'll manage money, but it's going to be very passive, very cheap to run, not much trades. I certainly am not going to go in there thinking I can beat the market. and It's just not going to happen. Not many factor fees in there. But the, if you look at low taxes, because I consider taxes a can, critical component of investments and your overall net worth and your cash flow, and they all flow under the concept of financial vice, which is what a financial planner specializes in. Now, if you're an investment guy and you know the markets back and forth and you think you have some kind of strategy that can beat it, that's great. That's what a, a chartered financial a CFA, a chartered financial analyst, CFA, Chartered Financial Analyst will discuss. And that person, that's what he should be discussing. What a financial planner should be discussing, she should be discussing social security planning, cash flow, tax planning, things of that nature. Anyway, that's a pet peeve of mine. And then if you look at Vanguard and you go to their, their financial planning services, well, if you pay 35 basis points or basically a third of 1%, you'll get active managed, or at least you get a portfolio that's been actively managed. With index funds, what I mean by that is they act, you know, they actively rebalance it and things of that nature. And financial planning guidance will come with that. And that's where the industry has really made a big mistake. We've thrown financial planning guidance as a free freebie for folks who invest with us for a certain fee. And, and it's not that's not going anywhere. That's the way the industry has gone over the last 10 to 15 years. And it, I wish it would not have, but it, it is what it is. So a company like Vanguard or USAA or TIA Craft, they'll give you free financial advice for managed money. If they manage your money for a fee, they'll offer free financial advice. My only concern with that is, is the financial advice off the shelf, boilerplate, 
rules of thumb or is it specific to you? And having worked at a big firm like that, I, I know that uh, a lot of this, the specifics that you need, uh, you might not get at a big firm. And the reason being, because they're worried about compliance. They, they just can't, you know, they have so many people working for them. They, they just, they can't have everyone just flying off the, you know, off the hip spouting out ideas that doesn't follow what the corporate line is. And I get that. But when it comes to your retirement planning, is that the financial advice you need is some boilerplate rule of thumb, you know, stuff that they, they have to kind of put you in a cage in this little uh, box and make sure you don't go out? And I don't think so. If it's investment advice, that's fine. I mean, I can't Vanguard. My goodness, go for them for investment advice. But do they do they talk about durable powers of attorney? Do they talk about disability insurance? Do they talk about property and casualty. Do they talk about Roth conversions. Do they look at your estate plan? Do they look at your enforced illustration on your insurance? Do they look at your ten forty? And the whole thing goes on and on and on. And the answer is, I don't know. I, I don't know if they do that. Having worked at Vanguard twenty odd, you know, twenty years ago now, uh, we didn't back then. They might do that today. I bet they probably don't. Ameriprise does do that stuff. Now, Ameriprise has something to sell you. They get paid commissions for sure on their insurance policies, disability. They will look at the big picture. I will. I know that for a fact. Um, and they put you in some more expensive mutual funds. That's for sure. They'll put you in some uh, life insurance, some disability insurance, long-term care. I mean, they, they do cover all that, uh, but they have an incentive for you to buy their product. So they get paid commission when you buy their product. And that, look, I got no problem with that as long as it's disclosed. Now, the counter of that is <laughs> Vanguard, they don't have an incentive to sell your product to you because you're not gonna be in their system in terms of getting that financial advice and you've, unless you've already bought the product. So because there is no incentive for them to sell you an insurance product or anything like that, do they actually take the time to look at that? area of your financial plan? I, I don't know. And that's, again, I'm going to plead ignorance here, but again, my inclination is probably not. They probably put you in a portfolio of good diversified index mutual funds. They rebalance it. They diversify it. That's good. And they'll probably answer some pretty basic questions on financial planning topics as a whole, uh, but I, they won't get into the big, deep things like Ameriprise does, but Ameriprise does it knowing full well that they're going to try to sell you something. <laughs> And that's uh, and there you go. Neither of these guys are fiduciaries. And one of these uh, authors or guys who answered the question said, well, you know, Ameriprise is not a fiduciary. Well, Vanguard is not a fiduciary either. And so neither of these guys are fiduciaries for sure. Um, so because of that, the fiduciary rule is not applicable to either, but it's not less applicable to Ameriprise than Vanguard. Just Ameriprise happens to get paid commissions and Vanguard does not. That does not make Ameriprise evil. It doesn't make Vanguard as, clean, as pure as wind-driven snow. It's just two different ways that these guys get paid. Um, a fee-only financial advisor gets paid like us in the RIA world, uh, you know, the registered investment advisors uh, who are fee-only. Uh, get paid solely by your fees. You write us a check for a yearly you know, retainer, a monthly retainer, an assets under management charge, but you know exactly what you're paying for. So the only fee we get paid for is what's up in this big noggin of mine. That's it. So that's, you know, everyone gets paid, folks. Everyone gets paid. There's no better way or worse way to get to pay for financial advice. But going back to my pet peeve, financial advice is all encompassing. If you're seeking financial advice and someone is not asking you about your estate plan, your tax plan, your insurance planning, your income planning, your debt planning, that's not financial advice. That's solely investment management. And that's, that's not enough if you're looking for real financial advice. All right. Hope this helps. I'll get some more stuff on Quarks. I think it's actually pretty interesting, some of the content they ask here. And I'll uh, report back. So keep you know, signing in. Don't forget to subscribe down there. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up help for sure. Tell all your friends about the YouTube channel we're doing here. And, of course, hit the notification bell to be notified of future content. Thanks, guys. Look forward to seeing you next on the Heritage Wealth Planning YouTube channel.